Hello, this is a Johnny Flynn Throat in the Red tutorial that I saw some people were looking for online and that nobody was giving. So I supposed it might as well be me who gives it because I've got the song pretty much nailed. So, uh, yeah, to start off, it's a capo on two and then you're just gonna play B minor, F sharp major, and G major. That's for the start of the, uh, the verse. Uh, the main important thing about Johnny Flynn songs is that you've got to get the finger picking pattern down uh, and they're all quite similar so if you know one then you can pick up the others quite quickly uh, the one for the root and the writ goes like that so it's uh, playing the uh, fifth string in the B minor shape fifth string then the fourth and first simultaneously and then with these two fingers here, you're dragging down. So you've got to make sure you got that sort of pattern nailed, because that comes up again and again in Johnny Flynn songs. And then, so, you play that, F sharp major, you pull all three, well I pull all three, I mean it's open to interpretation. Uh, all the bottom three strings, the top three strings, as they're called. One, two, three. Strings one, two, three. The same for the G, then you do a D shape. And I like to hammer on, again, that's another option. There's another hammer on there in an A chord, so the D goes to an A. And then just play them all the way through. So uh, all together that sounds like this. through the second time. And the second time I like to hammer on and then at the sus2 there you play. So you go you do that A thing again, same way you did it the first time. But then you instead of going finish the window first run through, you're going to finish and then back to your D. And so that's the verse pretty much. Let's just play through the first verse for instance. Because, uh, stretch here so that you gotta go up three to this uh, fifth fifth fret from the capo uh, so they go so it goes What you're doing there is it's a slightly different picking pattern. You're going uh, so you're gonna go first string, fourth string. So you're doing that, you're kind of hitting the top string twice. So usually you would go, but uh, here you go, and that comes up again in a lot of Johnny Flynn songs. So. So slowly it's like except uh, obviously you're holding this down you got to make sure you have that stretch down it takes a while to get there uh, then you're playing the A again you can hit any string you want the finger picking pattern finger picking finger picking pattern uh, but I like to hit this note here on the second string from the A chord. So I'm playing the A chord. I hit that so it goes bass, second string. Then you go to a B 
minor shape than your usual finger picking pattern. Um, and so, yeah, all together then. So you play that through for the first two verses, so they go Taking pictures of the man from God Hope his cassock's clean Better to be a holy fella Halo, better gleam, better gleam What of all those wayward priests The ones who like to drink You suppose swap the blood for wine Like you swapped yours for ink for ink Then you go through, you play the second verse Exactly the same and then uh, after the second verse, you have this little thing, so it goes. Or I'll, I'll just start off with the chorus, so. Let us that you left behind. No, wait, that's the fourth verse, is it? Uh, anyway, it goes something like. So it's G, G with F sharp in the bass, but I only play the two bass notes there. Then you play the G through, hammer on on that B, into a B minor, on that B minor again I like to hit bass, then the entire chord, so it goes. Then you got to play this D shape on the fifth, so you know you've got your D here, and then you've also got the D shape on the fifth. So, but what we, what we do when we play this, we're blocking out this note, but we know it should be there because it's similar to the A shape, as if a kappa were here. So it's similar to that. So you gotta play the top three strings in that chord. So you're going, and I like to slide up to it, especially with a resonator guitar, because it's just gonna say. It's a really nice sound, so. So you're sliding up to that, get that D shape, then you're doing a G, again only playing about the top three strings, you can get away with that one as well, so, you know, nobody's paying particular interest in whether you actually hit this or this, it doesn't really matter. But you're playing very quickly, so you're going. And then back to a D. So in essence you are going, first D is in this shape, so D minor, slide up to the D, down the G, back to an ordinary D shape, A shape. And then that's not finger picking all the way through, that's just playing it through. I'm playing with my fingers, he plays with a hybrid, which means uh, he's got the pick, between these two and he's playing his bass notes with his pick and he's just finger picking with the top two. I haven't quite mastered that technique so I'll just get away with playing the whole thing finger picking. Uh, so again this interlude goes. And then you play it through twice. Well he does it live. Uh, on the recording there's this higher bit that goes instead of do 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 do, but I'm pretty sure that's a second guitar and it doesn't sound great if you try to incorporate that. So I usually just play the thing through twice.
play another two verses, and then you've got this kind of prelude to the chorus. Uh, obviously, live, I, I just model my style off the way he plays it live, because if you go off the recording, there's extra guitars in there, and it's just madness. Uh, so, yeah, there's a mandolin and everything. So, uh, <clears throat> the prelude then to the chorus, it goes like this. You're doing this classic sort of bluegrass style, where you've got a finger on the third string and you're sliding it up until it's the same note as the string above. And then you're going to do the same with the uh, fourth and third string, so you go. So you play them both, and then you slide it up. Drop a string. string, third fret, you're sliding up to the fourth, and you're playing the second string open the whole time. Then you drop, do the same thing again, but fourth fourth fret to fifth fret, uh, but you're going fourth string to third string. I'll play that twice. Listen out to the recording, you'll, you'll figure out exactly how it goes. Then I play second... Second, third, fourth. No, forget that. Second, third, fourth. Forget that. The first string note does mistake. So you drop fifth. So you're playing these two open the whole time now, and you're on the fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret. This gonna, so you're gonna go, and then you do the whole thing again. Except now instead of just doing that shape and the A, you're going to do the whole A shape, so you're going to go, and then you're going to scratch the chords, and then he plays it over, and scratch, and scratch, so all together that goes, I'll, I'll play the verse into this prelude to the chorus. No finger picking, just blast them out chord wise. You've got one verse left. Soon forget what was never there. The words are ash and dust. All that's left is the song I've sung. The breath I've taken, the one I must. People in love for the road and the rip. People are letters you want and stand clear. They eat your heart and up to your wit. Don't say the letter what you can of my ear. Finger pack, finger picking pattern. You just gotta listen out for, and it t that takes a while. But once you have that, you can play any Johnny Flynn song. And again, if you have trouble with any other Johnny Flynn songs, I can play about seventy percent of them. So, uh, just for instance, if once you nail down that picking pattern, if you want to play Churlish May, Capo on five. And I actually learned this one first because it was a more simple picking pattern. So, if you're finding real trouble with that Johnny with the Road and the Red picking pattern. 
Learn this one first, so it's uh, bass, a C shape, on the f and then and again your fifth string, and then the fourth and the first simultaneously. And then you're doing that same thing, bass, and then going down. Yeah, your third finger and your second. finger in guitar. I'm not used to the terms, I just play, okay? So you gotta get that going if you wanna play Johnny Clinton. So then Church May goes. Yeah, so if you want any other ones, I can help you out. Um, and if it's not helpful, tell me, and I'll post other stuff, extra stuff on. Okay, thanks.